Meantime, you may have heard yesterday morning a well-known Republican crossing the aisle in this election. Former Secretary of State Colin Powell endorsing Barack Obama yesterday morning, telling NBC News that he is troubled by the GOP's personal attacks on Barack Obama in this election. Here is Colin Powell on Meet the Press. Because of his ability to inspire, because of the inclusive nature of his campaign, because he is reaching out all across America, because of who he is and his rhetorical abilities, and we have to take that into account, as well as his substance. He has both style and substance. He has met the standard of being a successful president, being an exceptional president. Well, clearly, Powell's remarks touched a nerve with radio talk show king Rush Limbaugh. Rush writing, Secretary Powell says his endorsement is not about race. Okay, fine. I am now researching his past endorsements to see if I can find all of the inexperienced, very liberal, white candidates that he has endorsed. I'll let you know what I come up with. So, does Rush actually have a point? Juan Williams is a senior correspondent for NPR and also a Fox News contributor. Hi, Juan. Hey, Megan. All right, so basically what Rush is saying is he doesn't believe Colin Powell that race didn't have anything to do with it or that this is not a race-based endorsement. Uh, does he have a point? Of course he does. Of course it has to do with race. It has a lot to do with this sort of senior black man, uh, sort of the original crossover race star in American politics, Colin Powell, I think reaching out to this younger black man. And I think in so many ways it goes beyond race. But uh, I think Rush Limbaugh is right if he says race is a definite factor here. Remember that... Colin Powell has been a Republican. His patrons have been Republicans. He was brought to power by the president, the first President Bush, uh, you know, ch chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, made Secretary of State by the second President Bush. He hasn't always had very close relationships with the black community. In terms of his legacy, I think this will stand as a real monument, uh, reaching out to the potentially the first black president of the United States. You know, Juan, then why not just say that? Why not be, just be honest about how that is obviously a factor and it's an important factor, and here's why. Well, I think for Colin Powell, I think from what he said, and let's just go to his words, he said, you know, he, he had a long-term relationship, friendship with John McCain, and that's the truth, and he didn't know Barack Obama as well, and so he wanted to see how they would perform during this campaign, and he said, as far as he's concerned, uh, the Republican Party, especially as represented by Sarah Palin, was going too far to the right on issues like affirmative action, abortion, and the like. He didn't like the kind of uh, business about is he a Muslim, you know, palling out terrorists. He, he thought that was not uh, on point and didn't like the campaign, so he made the choice here. So I think that's also a legitimate factor in addition to race, Megan. You know, you, you mentioned uh, the Muslim. I mean, John McCain has never suggested Barack Obama no. is a Muslim. He, he may blame that on him, but that, that's certainly never come from that level. The paling around never. with t terrorist thing, that did come from Sarah Palin. But he also took a shot at her qualifications, Juan, saying, I don't believe she's ready, and that's, ca that's caused me to, to call John McCain's judgment uh, yeah. into question. Is that, is that something that might resonate, not so much necessarily with Republicans, but with independents who are on the fence? Well, you've got to remember who's at stake here. As we end these final weeks of the campaign, you're not talking to everybody. You're really talking to a specific slice of the electorate. And in general, you're talking to some Reagan Democrats, conservative Democrats, who may have concern about that experience factor and about foreign policy, Barack Obama's commitment to protect America, to fight terrorism. And you're also talking to people who would be liberal Republicans so, and independents. It's right in that middle. It's still, you know, unsure, whatever. And, and for them, I think that, you know, Colin Powell's endorsement does make a difference because they see Powell as the guy who was in the military uniform and secretary of state. Yeah, it's interesting. We're getting a bunch of emails on it from folks who say they don't care because they've considered him, you know, they call it a rhino, Republican in name only. Uh, right, and so right, they, didn't, right. they weren't shocked by this. Uh, but we'd be interested to know what the viewers think. It's America's Newsroom at foxnews.com. Juan Williams, thanks so much for your insights on it. You're welcome, Megan. All right, we're going to check back in now with